Okay guys, what's up? We're back for round two of MSI products that I'm reviewing. So I've got one left after this, which will be the DS100 Interceptor mouse. This is the DS4100 keyboard. It's more of one of their entry level or attempts to get into the arena of membrane keyboard, seven color LED with limited functions and no real support anywhere. So if they're valuing this keyboard at about $50, I would say that's too much. You can get something a little better if you're just looking to spend a few bucks and get a membrane keyboard. This is nothing that I'm extremely stellar about. However, it's a good membrane keyboard. Comes with a nice braided cable with the black and red MSI design. On top of that, you have pretty much this function where you can breathe through lights. You can change the speed of the breathe by holding down your function button and then hitting the negative button, it'll breathe slower. You can also hit function and hit a light button down here to stop it on the color of seven choices they give you of your preference. So other than that, I mean, that's really all it does. There's really no macro bowl functions or anything like that. It's got media keys, it's got a, game lock so you don't accidentally somehow hit your windows button and bring yourself out of uh, the game you're playing which is also oriented over here the windows button I'm used to is usually over here but that's kind of neat to see it over there so there's really not too much to say about it it's a pretty flimsy oh don't mind that I found a use for the James donkey mouse by the way I was like I don't know what I'll ever use this for it made a good prop for this but anyways it's uh, it, it gives a uh, it's pretty sturdy for being as lightweight as it is one of the problems I have when it's sitting on like a, a hard table like this if you have it placed out to your game and you have your wrist here it, it moves around a lot and, and more so on this side because there seems to be I don't know if I'm missing a rubber foot maybe nope they're all on there uh, just it's it's just really lightweight so if you you got it on a desk and you're really getting into something you might start pushing it that can be really annoying to me I think anyways you, you might be fine with that I don't know so maybe having like an oversized mouse pad sort of like I use to place it on there will kind of get rid of the extra movement. It's a very lightweight keyboard, very soft touch keyboard too. Like, uh, uh, it feels like, I wish I had a good comparison to tell you, but it makes really no noise. You might have heard me hitting the microphone on accident, sorry about that. But other than that, you know, that's, that's really all it is, just a little, you know, not, not to call it cheap isn't bad, but it's a cheap little membrane keyboard that features the MSI logo down here, the dragon inside the triangle. I'm surprised on the box they didn't have an arrow that pointed to it and told me that's what that was because I thought it was a Targaryen dragon again. Watch Game of Thrones and you will understand. Now it does come with some, uh, no it doesn't, I lied. The mouse comes with some neat software for programming it, which is hopefully going to be a little more interesting to me when I look at that. But this uh, keyboard right here, really nothing spectacular to write home about, really flimsy, no spill proof, so there's no holes in here in case you spill anything, these are all screw holes on the back. And uh, you know, really that's it. I, I, w I wish I could do a little more on it. It feels nice, it's got like an ABS texture right here for your wrist, so you don't really sweat on it, but it's got good grip where you put your wrist at, the uh, logo itself, all the buttons, they're covered in a nice ABS rubbery material, and it, and it feels cozy and comfortable. I like a little more protrusion on the keys. I actually like mechanical keyboards over membrane any day and uh, you know it's it's a neat sleek on the go maybe if you take it somewhere take it to a land party your friend's house play some games there then maybe this is something that's just easy to throw in a bag and take it it's pretty sleek looking it looks nice and I, I give them full credit for it the fact that it looks nice but I would have wanted a little bit more if especially if they're valuing it at 50 bucks you probably see my review on the KK Moon mechanical keyboard while it's an 80% keyboard it's $60 for a full mechanical keyboard featuring TTC switches maybe I'll have to go back and look I don't remember um, I'm terrible terrible reviewer don't don't keep my archive catalog in my brain but uh, anyways you know for a few bucks more getting a mechanical keyboard may be the way to go especially because a lot of them will support some sort of macro macro on the fly whether it's in software or something you can just read the instructions and do on the keyboard itself this really has no amazing features when I got the little booklet it was a little pamphlet let you unfold it and that was really all there was to it but for what it is it's good and if the price is right or comes down because I'm thinking they're thinking $50 is what this is worth then I would say no but if the price comes down then I definitely think that this would be a good pickup too now like I said this came with a trifecta of the DS100 interceptor mouse it comes with this keyboard and the headset I reviewed which the headset so far has been the most worth the thing out of the two things three things if you count the Aegis then you know it's just something to consider. It's neat. If this fits your style, if this is something that you're looking for, if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you just want seven LED functions with no real macros, then uh, this may be for you. It's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, different, different looking. I mean, it, it resembles a Parix keyboard to me. So if you've never heard of Parix, they're a good budget membrane keyboard company. I actually have one in another room 
And if I was thinking before recording this, before the thought just dawned on me, I would have gone and got it so you could see what I'm talking about. But uh, it's similar to that, and it's really thin. I don't know how you can see that razor blade thin this keyboard actually is. But, you know, it'll do the trick if you're just looking for something inexpensive. Granted, if the price is right, uh, do some research, see if you can find a good price on it. I would say $30 is probably an okay price for this keyboard, but no more than $30. So maybe go on eBay, YouTube, Amazon, see what they got. Yes, I said YouTube, didn't I? You don't really buy off of YouTube. Go to Amazon, eBay, wherever, and uh, see what kind of price they have. Watch for new Ed Shell Shopper deals, NCIX deals, uh, Outlet PC, any of them. We'll, we'll usually put stuff like this from uh, manufacturers like MSI on sale as they come. Let's all face it, MSI makes great products, but they need to stick who and don't mind the 86 security system. Again, geez, I'm gonna smack that dog around. But uh, let's face it, MSI makes great, great motherboards, good computer, internal hardware. And uh, when you see stuff like this come from them, sometimes it just it makes you wonder. It's like, what are, you, what are you really aiming at? Is this just something else to put your product or your name or your brand out there? Because I like what you make, and I don't necessarily like to see you waver from that path, MSI. But, uh, you know, you did shock me with the headset over there, and the headset was really good. So hopefully we'll take a look at a DS100 mouse and see if it's any good. I'm going to go punch that dog in the kidneys now. Guys, if you get bored and you want something fun to watch, check out the link below down to Bode Productions. He does some pretty fun stuff with uh, GTA 5. I like watching it. Uh, some of it's hilarious because the AI, just the way it reacts. But uh, it plays a mod where he does some police stuff, and it's pretty cool to watch. I enjoy it. Quick videos. They're fun to watch. Uh, let me say they're fun to watch one more time. They're pretty good. Be sure and check it out. It's uh, pretty entertaining, and his subscriber base is going way up. People are liking what they see. Hopefully you will, too. It's just uh, something that's a little bit entertaining, I think, to watch you play a police officer in GTA 5 because, let's face it, uh, the AIs in there are crazy. They are crazy. It's kind of like the real world. What can you say? Anyways, check it out. Uh, link's down below in the description if you get bored waiting on me to ever put anything up because I'm still going through renovations and all kinds of stuff. It'll be awesome. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out.